Hello everyone. I'm going to ask of you to do a little exercise with me. Put your hands together, fingers matching as I am doing. While you're doing that, just roll them together, you know, pushing each finger, pushing on the other. Just do that and see if you like how it feels because I do. It is something I've been doing from I was in high school. Sometimes I would sit in class and I'd be listening to the teacher explaining something and I would just sit there and while I'm taking in what the teacher is saying, I'm doing this. And it, it just feels nice. Uh, maybe you don't like it. We're all different. But it's something that I enjoy doing. After leaving high school, I, be, I got baptized. And after about a year in the church, I was thrust with the responsibility of directing the choir. I remember how intimidating that was. But I, so for, from 1985, I've directed choirs in my churches for the majority of those years since I've been a baptized Christian. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And sometimes when I watch myself doing these videos, <laughs> I want to laugh at myself. It, it, it's as though I talk with my hands. Many of you would not know that sometimes when I'm doing a video, I would struggle. I try to say something without moving my hand. Because as a choir director, for the entire duration of the song, I am using my hand to direct the choir what to do. I remember when I was, for any of you who are musically inclined, who know a little bit about time signature and key, time signature, I'm going to say key signature, but uh, the common time is 4 4 timing, so you're, the, the, the gesture for 4 4 is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So when I'm directing a choir, I would have one hand doing that, another hand keeping timing. And what I have discovered is that it appears I can't speak without using my hands, even when I'm not directing a choir. Someone posted a comment that in my videos, I do a lot of Masonic hand gestures. No. The Bible encourages us to f avoid even the very appearance of evil. And it is something that I try. But you can just go so far with it. And there's, a, there's, there's some place where you just have to draw the line. Jesus himself didn't bother to shun the appearance of evil when he was speaking with the woman at the well. He did not shun the appearance of evil when he ate with sinners because the, the idea of calling sinners to repentance was of greater importance to him than the perception. And so I want to say to those who believe that I am making messianic hand gestures that I would actually hope that if I am doing that, that those hand gestures would attract some Freemasons to watching my videos so that I can tell them that we have sinned and we have come short of the glory of God. And that sin has separated us from God. But that there is a Redeemer. And his name is Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. And that every Freemason, whether they like it or not, 
we'll have to face that day when every single one will have to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And I would like to encourage them to do it now before it is eternally too late. In my videos, I am consistently presenting Christ. It is the, I would like to think, it is the theme of the videos and what I am consistently calling Jehovah's Witnesses to do. To trust Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life. Did I just make some Masonic gestures there? I don't know. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that we need to move away from paranoia. Because, you know, I, I've, I've said it before that superstitious people are the hardest people to be happy because they take every little thing. I remember I had a co-worker who ran off the job because a big moth flew into the office one day, one day and that was the last we saw of him because he claims that someone is working witchcraft on him. And so everywhere he goes, a moth is following him. <laughs> Oh boy. Anyhow, let us not be paranoid about these things. Because if you're not careful, you find that you're afraid to do everything. For example, it is from as long as I can recall that people would say, would do a hand gesture to you to say you've done well. Well done. Well done. Today you are scared to say well done because people say this is 666. One, this is six and three fingers up is three sixes. So to say, well done, is a Masonic symbol. Come on. Now, I do not go out of my way to, you know, because I see people making sim symbols. I don't even know what they mean. You know, fingers up and fingers down. And I don't have the time for that. All right. But I, I just want to assure anyone who may be wondering that I have absolutely nothing to do with any secret society. I don't know a thing about Freemasonry except what I've read and heard. But I'm a child of God, unapologetic. And if Freemasons want to come here, I say, come along. Follow my hand gestures and come along. And let me tell you, that Jesus is the way. So relax, ladies and gentlemen. I can't, I can't be bothered to try to adjust my mannerisms and the way I am naturally out of a fear of giving Masonic hand gestures. So for what it's worth, I just thought I would respond to that. Thank you for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.